So in this bag came this pedal set, which I ordered from Amazon. It's about a three star rating. Uh, unfortunately, the main gripe seems to be that uh, you have to drill to install these and that it comes with no instructions. I mean, that's true. You can't expect much for 30 bucks. Um, build seems pretty good, it's metal. And here are the two pedals here. Gas pedal, rest pedal, and hardware. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that all installed on my, uh, on my 30. So here's the uh, before. I've gone ahead and removed the brake cover and the clutch cover. And uh, so this is the before here. Uh, there was nothing here. As you can tell, it's a little bit dirty because it is uh, it is where your foot rests. We would use these four screws right here. All right, so the, the um, foot rest is in. And it's important to note that the screws are definitely not long enough to uh, penetrate into the metal. So I guess they're literally there to do, just to go through the multiple layers of the rug. It does feel firm doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere so um however i do recommend that i don't know if you, it's hard to tell here um you, that you do contour it that you do give it a little bit of a, of a bend the natural bend to the rug there so that it sits flush otherwise you may have issues deep with this rubber it's a rubber mat behind the pedal and separate the pedal from the backing rubber and get a little bit of painter's tape and put the pedal exactly where you want it once you do that Grab a sharpie and mark off the positions for each hole. So that should be self-explanatory once you tap the four holes, as you can see there. Um, we'll go ahead and fit the pedal. And it does come with the nut holder as well as the Allen wrench. So at this point, Go right ahead and hold the nut in the back and tighten them all down after you finger tighten them. Right, so the second pedal is done. As you can see, holes are tapped. That one is metal, uh, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. Uh, by the way, I'm using this bit. You can get this at Harbor Freight for like three or four bucks. The only tip I can really give you on this, on these two pedals here, is that they're curved. So you see this? See how nice and curved it is now? It didn't come like that. It was very flat, so it's very difficult to get it to work over there. So what I did was I put it here along the sill and kind of gently put a little pressure to give, give it a little contour. But you want to do this very softly. Don't go hard because you'll regret it. You overbend it, and then it'll look really ugly. So then you do a little bit, test, a little bit, test. Lead down, you want to go? Um, this last one, uh, a little concerning. Uh, primarily uh, because the uh, back of this is sealed. There's a cover here on top and it's not open. Down here it's open. The bottom I'm not so worried about, but the top definitely worried about. Do here is take off the C-clip and slide this over so that this pedal will drop down. C-clip out and that'll allow this to fold down flat and extend so you can get to it. So drill it first, tap the holes first, then take the C-clip out and then we'll put the plate on there. Around here. And um, very important to note for all of you is that once you put the screws on, they're gonna be too long. So this, I had to remove about this much using a hacksaw and patience. Um, if you don't, what'll happen is when you attach it and you push the pedal down, the pedal will get stuck down. But now, give you a quick sample here. Now, it comes right back up. You don't have to worry about the bottom ones. They don't touch, they don't get far down enough before it hits the stopper. So there you go, there you go. There you have it. So uh, outside of those screws up there needing to be cut, um, everything else is pretty straightforward. Um, hopefully this holds up. It's not bad for $30. Um, these are BMW mats, I just gotta wipe it down. They're like new. They're only need some ugly, hideous Goodyear ones, but, um, but yeah, nice, quick little upgrade. Stay tuned.